So I just turned 20 and welcome to my birthday weekend vlog. Hi, hello everyone. It is two days till my birthday. Why am I up at 7.40 a.m. on a Saturday? Because um, in December, our kids at church practice for their Christmas play, performances, all those things. So I need to get ready and go help them practice. We've got a busy weekend because hello, it's my birthday weekend. Hale literally stomps in the house. <laughs> Anyways, I'm turning 20 years old and this is the one year that it actually feels like I'm turning 20 because it feels like life is actually catching up to me. Like, oh wait, I actually have like life decisions to make now that actually matter. So as I was reading my word today, um, I was reading Psalms like 98, 99 and 100 and it was all circled around praising God. And so I feel like that is honestly one of the things that I pray will go into. Year 20 for me is like having a constant heart of rejoicing, a constant heart of praising the Lord in the midst of hard circumstances, honestly, but literally just that always being the state that I'm in, praising God because of who he is, because he's been good, because he's been faithful throughout my whole life. So that is what I want to share. Let's get ready to go downstairs, eat breakfast. Let's go. It's my kind of breakfast. Wait, the chip is gonna burn. <laughs> good morning, Kali. My mom made the best fur fur. Oh, but mom, scary breakfast. <clears throat> Another good would be wonderful. Wow. I'm proud to be here with you. All right. I don't want to lose my soul chasing after things that don't lead me straight to you. Going down to San Diego, picking up some friends, and going to church. What I'm excited to do later is hang out with one of my friends. Guys, I'm literally entering my 20s. I'm not a teen anymore. I'm going to put y'all on to some mesmer. We knew this was coming. So my dad's radio. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see my babies. My babies being the kids at church. Salam, salam. Let's see what we're Let's drive. All right, and what we're gonna do now? Praise God. I have to share this one song. I will put it in the description. It's long. It's a bunch of songs together. I can't even explain to you how I like how much I love the entire thing. So basically saying, just like how our bodies are like thirsty for water, my soul is thirsty for you, God. Day and night it desires you. That's something that is my prayer. And like when I sing it, I like also pray it. It's just like, Lord, help me have a desire for you. Help me have a thirst for you that I can't quench, that only you can quench. Help me only find satisfaction in you. By the way, these car rides, literally time between me and God. Worship, prayer, talking to God. I don't think it's good that I'm singing my lungs out and then going to teach kids. All right, back to my smoke in this part. <laughs> He says, So it's like asking, you're asking yourself like, God, do you see me as I'm struggling? Do you see me as I'm like going through challenges? When I go through these challenges, the Lord thinks of me. The Lord thinks of me as I go through these things. So, and then he sings the part. I think, I don't know if he says Ahun or Ao. I don't know which one he says. But either way, it works. Ahun Yayan is like, now he sees me. And if he says Ao Yayan, it's, yes, he sees me. It's like the book of Psalms, honestly. When you go through challenges in life, it's like, God, do you see me? Do you see me as I'm going through challenges? Do you see me as my heart is broken? Do you see me when I'm at the end of myself? And then the response in the song is, yes, he sees me. 
And so when I sing it, it's just like, it literally just makes me want to cry because it shows like, and it reminds us, God sees me, God sees you. And this is what I love about worship and why I have Muslim playing all the time, because it's a constant reminder of the goodness of God. And there's nothing that will compare to being in his word and how it transforms your heart. And there's another aspect of your faith where you constantly surround yourself with reminders of who God is. And that's what Muslim is to me. Jesus, that sounded so good. Okay, so So it's saying God, you're you're different from man. You're not like man. So you level the mountains. Basically, God, you're not like man. You level the mountains. Ah, bro, must just will always be superior. Let's <laughs> God's not gonna forget you, God's not gonna drop you, you're good. That's enough muscle for now. My voice is almost gone. My voice is gonna crack all day. Just watch. How do you guys feel that I'm turning? Um, in going into my 20s, it's actually embarrassing. Unreal. You officially joined the old gang, so you joined your sister. Actually, you actually did join your sister now. Your sister is prehistoric. But if I continue to act like a child, then... Literally, no one <laughs> thinks you're 20. Like, I swear if someone came up to you, we asked, what's her age, bro? Seven. What would you say? Right. Seven. I would say 18. I'll take it. I don't know what I would say. I've known you too long. I can't, like, yeah. be unbiased. And I realize literally all my friends are, like, two years younger than me. <laughs> literally, <laughs> That's I think... That's actually so true. Being sick and tired. Ah. Oh, guys, we don't do abuse here. Ready, Abby? Let's party. <laughs> I don't want to lose my soul chasing after things that don't lead me straight to you. In. These are my children. How old do you think I'm turning? How old 16. Do you think? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. 22. 22. 20. 20. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. No. 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 Oh my. We want to get up. Are you turning 20? I am turning 20. You are turning 20. Wait. Why do you have a Toyota? Why do I have a Toyota? You're turning Because I'm having a shop. Yeah, why old hey, have a shop? Like, people have a Toyota. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas! Christmas! That's <laughs> 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 Let's sing it together. Without clapping. 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 Okay, I'm the Lord's servant. Hi! <laughs> so good. You got matching sunglasses? Clearly. So good. <laughs> These are good. So we're gonna try cowboy boots because we've been yeah, wanting to get them. I'm so excited. I hope they fit. No, no. Okay, I Wait. think those are it. Yeah. Those are so you, Hussit? Really? Yeah. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god, wait, these actually are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're so cute. 
<laughs> look at you, look at God. Okay, thank you. If not, no problem. I think I can wear thick socks with the other one. I'll try. Thank you. Hi guys, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. We did it. We did it. This is so successful. I honestly didn't know it took Yeah. Okay, I got the cowgirl boots. Look at these. So cute. <laughs> Okay, and then I got a few sweaters, like, sweaters yeah. and long sleeves because we are, you know, entering fall. You know, a couple hair bands. And then I got like a jacket. I got a few jewelry too. <laughs> I kind of just went Christmas shopping for my parents because I knew I was eventually going to get them stuff. So I bet you'll see this for the dad. on Christmas. <laughs> like pajamas. And then I got my mom a nice white cardigan. Loki might steal it from her too. Us and a few friends are going to Disneyland on New Year's Eve. So we ended up getting everyone. I need you to take a lap. Good on her. Oh, las barancas de Chihuahua. Period. This is so cute. We're gonna go to eat now. Man, I put all y'all on laps. You really did. No, you actually did. Thank you so much, Hase. Tasa got it for my birthday. She's so kind. I love you. I love you too. Very impromptu, but we're at Seaport Village. We had our in and out here, had a great talk, and now we're just exploring in our own city. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Thank you! Hello. 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 I'm back home now, in my PJs. Today was such a wholesome day with my friend. It was so beautiful. Tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's church. I am teaching tomorrow at our young adult service. So happy Sunday. Let's get the day started. One more day till my birthday. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thank you, mommy, for the food. Thank you. Okay. Voila. Yep. Your youngest daughter is 20 years old. How do you feel? Can't count backwards now. Brown pants color looks good on daddy. Me too! Yeah. Wow, we're twinning. I literally look like a businesswoman. I don't feel like it's December 4 tomorrow. I feel like it's maybe November 4. That's your Brook Tawi and get Ayokal, right? Okay. Thank you. Macchiato! Straight from it up here. Thank you, mommy. Bella. Happy birthday, mama. Thank you. This is pumpkin spice cake. It's my favorite type of cake to be made on my birthday. Assuming didn't know. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. Time I am like my is the way that I'm 20, which means you're 23. I'm not 23 yet. I have guys. almost two months and then I turn 23. So we're two years and 11 months apart. Yep. But she always likes to claim three. Cause it's just one month. So how do you feel being the big sister of a 20 year old? I still feel like you're eight. <laughs> Abby called you prehistoric yesterday. You know? Your sister's prehistoric. <laughs> I'm not that old. Everyone just thinks, oh, bless you. Bless you. Xavier Varkis, pineapple. Okay. Look at that. Never mind. Look at that guy. She didn't sneeze. I'm preaching today on um, sharing the gospel. Are you gonna put this is the gospel. This is the good news. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amen. Happy no. birthday to you. Blow no. it out. Oh, yeah. She's pregnant. Oh, Thank you, guys. Many more years. Amen. Happy birthday. You're Amen. finally in your 20s. Congratulations. Oh, my God. You have two daughters in their 20s, guys. Wow. That's, that, that's a blessing. Mm. You guys are getting old. Mm. Now, whenever people tell you, you have, yeah, my daughters are in their 20s. They're going to be like, oh. <laughs> Yikes. That's shit. So we got to church, worship was great, and then I went into sharing the word. This was my very first time when I shared the word that I genuinely gained and learned so much from the audience. 
Through giving other people the opportunity to speak, I was able to learn and understand and hear other people's stories and how the Lord works so mightily and powerfully in the lives of my brothers and sisters in Christ. If I got, if I got you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy oh birthday, God, we love you. You are so old. Miss Grandma. Oldie, Miss Grandma. <laughs> happy birthday, Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy we birthday. love you. Grandma. Uh, Lindsay Ahmed. Uh, yeah. Um, happy birthday, Ahmed. I can't believe you're turning 20. You're literally a grandma at this point. Um, I always get compared to you, so like, please stop please like stop. getting better. Thank you. You're becoming very old. Welcome to this Ahmed. It ain't but, it ain't but I'm no dish lazat. Welcome to this Alala Shalo. Something beneficial, like what did you learn from today? You ate today. And it was like entertaining too, like with the activities and everything. You guys, I was, I, the, the stories were so emotional, I had to walk out because I was crying. Happy birthday! The fact that she got her cowboy boots too. Hi guys! Church was 10 out of 10. Praise God, amazing. And now we're going to food for less to go buy some snacks because I'm going to my friend's house today. Where's the cheesecakes? Is Zina Yamna? All right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that almost fell. <laughs> chips, chips. I believe that it's here. Praise God, we found it. Abby's vegan, so we gotta get something vegan friendly. Gomez! Cheesecake? No, no, it's not real at this food for less, bro. Happy birthday, dear Amen. And forward to? Hey, what do you wish her? Um, I wish her a very happy 20th birthday and I just hope she knows how special and loved she really is. I wish you a happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. I know you're having an amazing day actually. Uh, we love you and I hope 20 is the best year yet. I am Haya today, 6.04 a.m. We woke up at four because my cousin is coming into town and we're gonna hang out with her today, which is gonna be fun. So we need to go pick her up from the airport. Yesterday I was preaching on sharing the gospel and I kind of touched on how there's an aspect of discipleship and our faith that we don't really acknowledge as much which is the impact that our faith can have on future generations if we share the faith with others and teach others to do the same. It's one thing to just tell someone about Jesus, but it's another thing to then walk with them and show them how they can then share that with other people too. It's something that is supposed to impact future generations. It's not something that's supposed to just stay with us and keep with us. And yesterday, people were sharing their testimonies basically of how the Lord had either saved them or delivered them. I was realizing that in the youth, as people are sharing what the Lord has done for them, God isn't just the God of our parents. The faith of our parents no longer just theirs anymore. The Lord has been faithful and kind enough and full of mercy and grace to reveal himself to us as our Father and our God, and we've been able to respond to that, which is beautiful. And so I kind of just flipped open to Psalms today, Psalm 78, and it's talking about how the Lord is giving instructions and commanding the people of Israel and how those instructions and those commands and his word is something that isn't just supposed to stay with the parents, it's supposed to be passed on to the children. And so it's really beautiful, Psalm 78 verse six and seven, it says, so the next generation might know them, them being the instructions and commandments, even the children not yet born, and they in turn will teach their own children. So each generation, I love this, so each generation should set its hope anew on God, not forgetting his glorious miracles and obeying his commands. That's what I hope and pray for this generation, my generation, that we genuinely set our hope anew on Christ, 
because God doesn't change. And so I just pray for future generations, for this generation's future generation, because it doesn't just end with us either. God willing, we will have children. We will have future generations coming from us too. And the same hope that we've set, the same foundation that we've found and built our lives upon being Christ Jesus will be the same thing for our children and our children's children too. Common theme that God has also taught me too that I noticed is yesterday I read Psalms 100 and it was just talking about singing praises to the Lord and at church they were singing a mazmur that's saying something like that um, and so it's basically saying like this is what I've understood to praise God in the midst of circumstances and challenges that may come our way. That's why I love worship because it almost also feels like an escape sometimes, honestly, when you go through challenges, it's just like, I'm just gonna praise God. The rest of my birthday with my sister and my cousin was filled with just catching up on life, enjoying each other's presence, having fun, exploring the city, spending quality time with each other, and just enjoying the little things. I thank God for 20 and what this new year has to hold.